Hello and welcome to this Dr. Ross Maths key skill video on simplifying algebraic fractions where factorization of both the numerator and denominator is required. Now we saw in the previous video that basically if we want to simplify an algebraic fraction like this we factorize the top and bottom first and then we see what cancels top and bottom, like what can we divide top and bottom of the fraction by, just like we would simplify a normal fraction like 6 ninths by dividing top and bottom by 3. So, in this video we're going to have to factorise both the numerator and the denominator. So x squared plus x, how do we factorise that? Well can you see that they have a common factor of x? And when that happens, we take that common factor of x and then put a single bracket after it. And then think, well x times what is x squared? Well it's x. And x times what is x? Well it's 1. So you have plus 1 and that's factorisation. What about the bottom? Well, remember, this is a special form called the difference of two squares. So it's a difference, a subtraction, of two squared things. Well, that's x squared, and that's 1 squared. And remember, the way we factorise that is to have two brackets, one with plus, one with minus, and then we do the square root of each term. So the square root of the first term, x squared, is x, and the square root of 1 is just 1. And if you don't know how to do this, then do look at my video on factorising the difference of two squares first. And then... We look, what's common top and bottom? What can we divide the top and bottom of our fraction by? Well, there seems to be an x plus 1 common to the top and bottom, so we can cross those out, and that gives you x over x minus 1. Now, someone who's not really thinking about what they're doing might think, oh, I can cross out the x's and just get blank over minus 1 or something. But you can only cross stuff out when you're dividing by it. It's just like we've got simplifying 6 ninths. You're dividing the numerator and the denominator by 3 to simplify it. And when I crossed these out, I was effectively dividing by x plus 1 at the top and dividing by x plus 1 at the bottom. But if I just cross out that x at the bottom, I'm not actually dividing by x, I'm actually subtracting x, which would be wrong. So don't just cross out stuff because you see the same thing. You can only cross out stuff if you factorised it, where you've got it as a product of things, because then crossing out stuff is actually dividing by that thing, and we're only allowed to simplify fractions by dividing, not by subtracting. What about the next one? Now, when you've got some harder factorizations like this, the 3x squared, and these are notoriously difficult to factorize because we have a number from the x squared, I always start with the easier thing to factorize because that sometimes provides a clue as to the factor of the harder thing to factorize. So the numerator is easier to factorize because there's no number in front of the x squared. And remember how we do this? If I put a 1 in front of that, because 1x just means x, I need two numbers that add to give the 1 and multiplies to give the minus 6. Well, what are those numbers? Well, they're plus 3 and minus 2. So this factorises to x plus 3 and x minus 2. And if you don't know how to do that, look at my video on quadratic factorisation. Now, my guess is that because we know that this is going to simplify, otherwise it would be a rubbish question, one of these things is probably going to appear at the bottom so that it cancels. Now, it can't be the x minus 2 at the bottom, because if I did x minus 2 times by something else, when I do that minus 2 times something in the expansion, there's no way it can give you 15, because it wouldn't be a whole number. So it must be the x plus 3. So I've got x plus 3 multiplied by something, because 3 times something can give you 15. Well, 3 times what is 15? Well, it's 5, isn't it? So we know that this has to be plus 5, because in an expansion, when we do the 3 times the 5, we get that plus 15 at the end. Now, we also need to get that 3x squared in the expansion. So we think x times what would give you 3x squared? Well, it's 3x. And then we can always double-check this. Do we get the 14x? Well, 3 times 3x gives us 9x. x times 5 gives you 5x. 9x plus 5x is 14x, that is correct. But if you don't like this method, like the sort of shortcut, then just factorise this from scratch. Just do the whole method behind it, but it will take much longer. And then we see what's common top and bottom, x plus 3, cross those out to get x minus 2 over 3x plus 5. And note, by the way, that we no longer need the brackets around these things because there's nothing around these brackets, so we can just get rid of the brackets.